February the 11th, and I am fresh out of bed with crazy bed head, which is fine, that's normal, <laughs> for me anyway. Um, I'm sitting here making some pasta fajoule, I think that's how you say it, um, for church today. I'm trying to figure out if I should do simply filling today or if I should count points. Um, I was gonna count points this week, and I did yesterday, but everything that I'm gonna be doing today is simply filling. And sometimes it's just easier not to count if you don't have to. Um, and apparently you can go back and forth. Ooh, this is looking good. You can go back and forth um, as needed. Oh, loud. <laughs> Wake up, Basher. Um, so I just had some coffee with one point in it on either way, freestyle or simply filling. Here is that finished soup that I'm making for church. Um, one serving of this is four smart points according to the recipe that I'm gonna put down below. Um, like I said, I added a few things like some spinach and some different spices, but I'm gonna put that in the crock pot and keep it warm for church. Um, and then I also got myself a serving out for when I get home from church. I usually end up not eating at church because I'm talking to everybody. Um, and then there's also usually not any options for me, <laughs> honestly. Um, so I don't know that I'll actually get a chance to eat this, so I just went ahead and got out one serving for myself, and that's that. Hey everybody, I thought it would be fun to show you my outfit of the day, um, because <laughs> it's sort of a non-scale victory. Um, so I have my, this is my husband's closet that I'm looking in, and I haven't really done these, but I just wanted to show you, uh, this is pretty cool. So this is a size 1820 shirt. It, it's not overly flattering, <laughs> but I just wanted to show you all how big it is on me now. Um, it's very, very loose. I don't know if you all can tell, but it's not very flattering anymore. <laughs> um, you know, but I'm gonna wear like a sweater over it. I keep having to like kind of pull it down because it's so big and the arms are really big. But what's crazy about this is that I used to, I wore this at Christmas and it, you know, kind of hugged me at Christmas and was like more form fitting. I don't know how to explain it, but it's very big. <laughs> it almost is like dress size. I am home from church. The pasta fajoule was a hit at church. Um, I do have leftovers that I'm gonna freeze. And now I've got to clean <laughs> the kitchen. Um, and I'm gonna try to organize the pantry a little bit, get the refrigerator cleaned out because Lent is on its way and um, try to figure out what I'm going to meal prep for the week. I'm sure you all are familiar with this recipe where you take the box of cake mix and you add two cans of pumpkin to it and you make muffins. Um, I was just cleaning out the pantry and we have a lot of this type of stuff so we had just enough to make some um, chocolate pumpkin muffins. I'll put the recipe for this down below as well. Um, I think they're like maybe three, three smart points per muffin, but my son and my husband love these. So, and of course they requested, we found some chocolate chips, that I put some chocolate chips in there, so they probably will eat these, I probably won't. I have the muffins in the oven. Um, I figured them out, so if you use that box of cake mix that I showed you, two cans of the pumpkin puree, and I put like a fourth of a cup of almond milk in just to wet it a little bit. Um, hey, look at this guys, my rings are getting really loose. Um, if you do that, they come out to, for 24, you gotta make 24 of them, they come out to three points a piece without the chocolate chips on them. So, there you go, if you want like a little chocolate something. They're super moist, that's an old Weight Watcher recipe from back when I first started doing Weight Watchers and I have been making those muffins for the guys for years. Um, they trigger me though. Honestly, like I don't, I can't just eat one of those. So I just don't even start, because that's me. Hi. It's me. I had so many good intentions for today and then I fell asleep for, I think like two hours. These are the pumpkin muffins I made. Then my husband got the rest of the batter, and <laughs> these are the pumpkin muffins he made. I told him we were gonna make 24. Look at this one. This is like three, three in a thingy. 
Anyway, I did eat one. Um, it was delicious. And then I went and fell asleep. We have managed to drag ourselves from the home, even though I felt like just sleeping all day. I don't know what the deal was, but um, we're gonna go to Target. We're going to HEB, we're at the gas station now, and then the guys are gonna get subs or something. It's our last night of meat um, before Lent. I don't know, he, I think he's tired. Are you tired? He's worn out and he has a big biology test tomorrow or something. Tuesday, I have one. I've been Tuesday, he's been, so he's been studying or something all day. I've been making phone calls today. Asher got accepted into college on, I don't know if I told you all that, on Friday. Friday? Yeah. Um, so he got his acceptance letter to college and we found out he had, he's gotten a scholarship because of his SAT scores. Academic excellence scholarship. And academic excellence. So. He is going to be studying um, psychology. He wants to be a marriage and family therapist um, at some point. So he thinks that there's a real need for that. We'll see. We'll see what he thinks about his classes, but he's been accepted into the psychology program. So he's really excited for that. Um, so congratulations, honey bunny. He's a smarty pants. Yeah. I've got to go get my favorite almond milk. I've got to get, um, I'm going to make a vegetarian chili for the week and serve that with sweet potatoes whoever told me about that thank you i can't remember but you know who you are and i thanked you before thank you again um and then we're gonna get stuff to make shrimp tacos this week we had the best shrimp tacos at this restaurant on friday night i don't know that i vlogged it but they had like mango oh, they had like some sort of mango salsa on them they were incredible so we're gonna do that this week um, I'm going to make some tuna salad for sandwiches this week. Uh, we do eat fish and things like that. We eat fish during the fast, um, periodically. So I'm going to make some tuna fish. What else did I say I was going to make? We're going to do a night where we do pizzas. I'm going to try to find some lavash bread and do that. And just do like veggie pizza with fat free cheese on top. Um, yeah, meal planning stuff. I have a scribbled list that makes no sense, basically, and we're gonna go for it. So off we go shopping. Favorite almond milk. This is at Target. So I like the unsweetened vanilla, no sugar added, 40 calorie. I also have just like a 35 calorie one. Maybe I should get that one. Probably save a couple calories. Asher has the list. We're gonna try, we don't wanna go the, not the list, get a list. Um, <laughs> we're gonna try to get everything here so that we don't have to go to the grocery store. Beans. Um, yeah, we're getting closer. There's a lot of canned goods happening. What are you getting? Oatmeal? <clears throat> Here's the Kodiak cakes at Target. I have a box of these already. I think I'm gonna try them. Uh oh, flapjack on the go. I haven't seen that. That looks good. They have the sugar free syrup here. That's the question. I don't see it. Oh, wait, here's their sugar free original syrup. Yum. Oh, they have paleo pancakes. I wonder how many points those are. Probably a lot. The paleo stuff seems to be a lot of points. Okay, somebody loves these. Is it Weight Watchers with Carrie? Um, the girls in the Weight Watchers meeting talk about these all the time, so I'm gonna get a couple of these. Hot buffalo, I don't know about that. I'm just gonna try them and see. They look like they would be a good protein snack. <clears throat> Know how many points they are, but uh, they can't be many, right? Okay, we're gonna try these out. They do not have fat free cheese here, I don't think. <clears throat> the whole reason we're shopping here is so we don't have to go. We had to come here, but we don't want to have to go to the other grocery store tonight because we're lazy, you guys. We're lazy. 
the reduced fat, which I like reduced fat, but it's a lot of points. Well, crud. I love coffee cups. These are my favorite size. Ooh, I love these, and I'm not allowed to get any more. This is the one I use all the time, you guys see. I'm not allowed to get any more coffee cups. I've been grounded. I have an issue here. These are pretty, but I don't need them. Oh, these are pretty, pretty little measuring cups. And measuring spoons, how cute are those? I could just live in Target. I love all the white dishes. And I love these size salad bowls, like big salad bowls. These are so pretty. Oh, man, I could spend a bazillion dollars in here. Oh no, here's the hearth and hand stuff. I've got to go look over here. I think I've lost the guys, so. This is all the Joanna Gaines stuff. Looks fantabulous. So pretty. It's set up a lot like the store. So if you guys have been to Magnolia in Waco, Texas, um, the store is set up like this. And it, it just, this is sort of like a replica of the, the silos. So I love this stuff with the little X's on it. These are so pretty. Ooh, beautiful. <clears throat> I mean, I don't need any of this stuff. I just love to look. I don't know if you guys are like that, but I'm just a looker. Oh, lovely. All right, I better stop before I end up with something in my hand. Ooh, pretty. These are awesome. Look at these. Big hurricanes. They're gorgeous. All right, the guys are checking out. I love bohemian looking stuff. I think it's so pretty. Very like ladylike looking. The florals and everything. I just, I like this trend over some of the old trends. You know, where everyone's belly button was showing. I prefer this. Ooh, these are pretty. Look at this. Some of it is a little, like these are pants, uh, like a tube top and pants sewn together. No. But I do like the prints. I mean, these are shorts. I would look terrible in something like that. <sighs> I mean, I don't like that. But this is so pretty. Like, I don't know where I would wear something like that. But it looks like the stuff that we saw in Mexico. <clears throat> Favorite t-shirt of the trip. <clears throat> I love anything that has to do with NASA and space. Love it. Look at the elephants. These are so cute. That's adorable. We've got a good start on all of our meal planning for the week. There's a couple things that Target just doesn't have. I don't know if you ever shop at Target. Ours is not a super Target that has like the grocery, it has groceries, but it doesn't have the extensive, you know, like the really nice. Oh my God. Uh, anyway, he doesn't care about this right now. Okay, uh, we are gonna go get dinner. Asher's getting a Baconator. <laughs> How many points do you think is in the Baconator? We're gonna look it up. I'm gonna get Panda, <clears throat> excuse me, Panda Express. No. Panda Express and he doesn't want Panda. And then you're getting, what are you getting? This is our last night of meat for a while. So we're all getting what we want. So we're all, we're going to go to like three different places. We'll be fine. We're going <laughs> to drop him off to get a steak. Yeah. We are home from the store and I am in full on meal prep mode for lunches for both of us this week. Um, let me turn you around and show you what we've got going on. This is a four bean chili. Um, it's just beans, 
peppers, onions. I put a half of a jar of some roasted salsa verde, some taco seasoning mix, uh, roasted tomatoes, rotel. I'm gonna simmer this all down over the next hour or so, and I will be putting this on the sweet potatoes. I have sweet potatoes going in the oven, and I'm getting ready to make some like a casserole with some fat-free refried beans. I'll show you guys that in a minute. And he's over here working on, we're gonna put some tuna salad together for sandwiches for the week. Um, over here, I'm meal prepping some of my little grandma snacks uh, back in the day, <laughs> like a month ago. I was talking to you guys about how my grandmother always made um, fat-free cottage cheese, or she just drank, ate, she didn't drink it. She just ate cottage cheese, and she would always put fruit on top. So I do half of a cup of fat-free cottage cheese and a little bit of the no sugar added mandarin oranges and their own juice. Um, and that makes a great afternoon snack. Here is my dinner from Panda Express. It is broccoli beef for four points, teriyaki chicken for five points, and the veggies on the side, and a ginger root beer zebia. Next I just made some polenta. I have that bottom of a pan. I'm going to bake that off as soon as the sweet potatoes come out and then layer it and do a, it will be simply filling, but um, like three points per serving of this like Mexican bake thing um, that I used to make a long time ago on the old Weight Watchers program. So it'll be fun to have that again. I haven't had that in a while. And I've got my frittata all mixed up. <laughs> so Lots of meal prep this week just to make things easier during the week. It's a lot of work on a Sunday, but honestly, it does make your life easier if you get stuff done um, before the busy week derails you completely. Because that's what happens to me. Is I give up and then I go and get a hamburger or something else that I shouldn't really be putting in my mouth at this point in my life. Okay, my chili is done and ready to set aside for the week. Okay, here's a big thing of albacore tuna with the 0% fat craft mayo. Um, one serving of this is zero smart points. And I also put in some sandwich sprinkle and some dill relish and one tablespoon of the sweet relish just to get that little bit of sweetness. Fruit, the food prep. Food prep is done. <laughs> I keep leaving the refrigerator door open. Um, got lots made. I think the only other thing I wanted to make was some yogurt with the pudding. I really, I want to find that cheesecake sugar-free, fat-free pudding. But anyway, I'm going to do that. That's the only other thing that I wanted to make tonight. My husband is so sweet. He's cleaning up for me for the millionth time because I have cooked. I feel like I've cooked all day long today. Um, I started with pasta fajoule and <laughs> ended the day with um, my, my frittata that I'm making. So that's food prep. I will show you guys my planners tomorrow because I just didn't get to it because I fell asleep for two hours. I hope you guys had a great on program weekend. If not, do get the next. <laughs> my husband says, get back on it. Um, do the next thing. That's what I'm going to be doing. So Anne Lamont, look her up. She says, do the next thing. So you can build on good choices, and if you make a bad choice, do the next right thing, the next good thing. So that is what I'm going to be focusing on this week, is if I make a choice that's off program, or I don't go to the gym, or okay, we're going to put that behind us, and I'm going to do the next thing. So do the next thing. I will see you guys tomorrow on the vlog. I'll just vlog my daily eats and show you guys my planners. Um, we're going to have a giveaway soon, it looks like, so I will be doing a planner giveaway. We'll talk more about that when we get there, um, but thanks everybody for all your support, for watching, um, for just being so amazing to me and giving me so much great wise counsel and advice and positivity, and I know a lot of us are struggling um, mentally or we've had weight gains or we're not on program. Um, that's why we're here. So um, try to be kind to each other. Try to sp uh, spread some kindness this week. I know I'm going to try to really try to be kind um, and gentle with people. Be gentle with yourself. 
and uh, stick with me, okay? We're gonna do this together. I'll see you guys later.